If you've been following along, open up the most recent file. We have five frames or cells that appear in the level or level column. We also have five drawings in the level strip representing the same thing. Use the keyboard shortcut Control A to select all the drawings in the level strip. Right click and select Copy. Left click in the frame just below. Right click again and select Insert Copy. This produces an exact duplicate of those frames below the last frame in your drawing strip. Use Control Z to undo that action. Right click again and select Duplicate Drawing, which does the same thing as we just did in the last step. Select Drawing 6, the first frame in the new sequence, and hold Shift, clicking the last frame. Right-click again, and choose Reverse. Click the first cell in the Level column, and then click the Loop icon in the console. Notice that the only cells which are exposed to the camera are those which appear in the X sheet in the first column. The important fact to remember here is that you can have many more drawings in the level strip than you have exposed in the X sheet. Here I select all the drawings in the level strip, right click, and choose Expose in X sheet. A new column appears in the X sheet. Let's hide the first one taking note that the frame range indicator matches that of the newly created cells. Because we have a drawing highlighted in the level strip, when we play the sequence, we're seeing the drawing view. Clicking any cell in the X sheet changes to the camera's view of the same thing. Adjusting the frame range limits what we see when we play the sequence. When the viewer shows the animation table and the white background, that's the camera's view. Clicking any drawing in the level strip presents a gray background. What this essentially means is that we can have one set of things happening in the level strip and a completely different set of things happening in the X sheet. For this exercise, we really don't need the first level anymore. Click here and delete that column or level. This form of delete doesn't work. Click again, right click, and select Delete from the menu. The newly created column moves to the left and is the only level present in the X sheet. Many professional animators choose to spread out their drawings in an arrangement called On Twos. Select all the drawings in the level strip, right click, and choose Step 2. This action duplicates every drawing in the level strip, effectively lengthening the animation. When played back at 24 frames per second, this produces a smoother result than playing the same sequence at 12 frames per second. Press Ctrl A to select all the drawings, right click, and expose these in the X sheet. We now have a newly created column or level. Readjust the play range in the X sheet to match that of the newly exposed cells. We don't need the first column anymore, so right-click and choose Delete. The sequence of cells exposed to the camera in the X sheet now precisely match the drawings that have been drawn in the level strip.